flashbacks. Hooray! We want the scenery outside this sepia town. Hmm. What's this? Ah, must be one of the developers. I'll just grab this ammunition right in front of my commanding officer. Lieutenant Robert McNichol, reporting as ordered, sir. Sit down, soldier. I understand you ran across a Confederate soldier yesterday outside of town. Yes, sir. He was foraging for food. Yes, I've gotten quite a few reports of rebel foragers from farms all over the county. The enemy sends in small teams like this from time to time to find food and supplies and disrupt our communications whenever possible. I believe there's a small unit of maybe eight to ten men operating out of the woods, not far from town. That way they can conceal their movement and gather up the supplies they've been stealing before heading back for Virginia. If you know where they are, why don't you just send a unit in after them? That's why I need you, Lieutenant. Now I'm sorry to have to do this to you so soon after your arrival, but you're the only combat experienced officer I have right now, and we've got to put an end to these raids. With all respect, sir, I was hoping to get a break from combat out here. My unit was wiped out at Gettysburg, and I... I'm well aware of your record, Lieutenant. Listen, I get all kinds of troops assigned here, from down-home farm boys who don't know which end of a rifle to point at the enemy, to men who've seen way too much of the horror of war, like yourself. But I have to do the best I can with what I've got. Washington just can't afford to send any troops out here to track down a single rebel foraging unit, so we have to take care of them ourselves. And you're the only officer I have right now who isn't a green volunteer or useless at commanding men. I know, sir, but it... But nothing. I've seen your record, and you know how to lead men. Right now, I need a man like you, and I am giving you a direct order to take a small group and find those rebels. Now, Lieutenant, are you going to refuse this order? No, sir. You can count on me. When do I leave? Immediately. I've taken the liberty of selecting some men for you. They're waiting for you outside. They're good men, Lieutenant. Two of them combat veterans, and a third local man who's been stationed here about a year. Mosley's his name, and he should be able to tell you a bit about the local terrain. Your orders are to take your men and head toward the forest along the main road, crossing in when you meet Tappy Creek East. Find the rebels, report their strength, and avoid direct engagements if you're outnumbered. Otherwise, use your own discretion in confronting and eliminating any raiders you encounter. Any questions, Lieutenant? Sir, I approve of your pipe. Can you tell me about my men, sir? Corporal William Newhouse is the ranking enlisted man, and the one with the greatest experience. He's a good shot, and an accomplished woodsman from Wisconsin. His unit was decimated at Chickamauga a few weeks back, so he hasn't been here long. Private Moore is a veteran of Gettysburg, like you. But he was with an artillery battery that arrived the last day of the battle, and didn't see much action. His unit was transferred a few weeks ago to fight out west with Grant, but somehow he got himself transferred here. He's got an uncanny sense of self-preservation that might come in handy. The final man, Mosley, as I said, has been stationed here for about a year. No combat record, but he knows the local area, and should be able to help you get to know the lay of the land. Can I best use some more? What if I get into a real fight out there? I don't want any dead heroes. If you find a man or two on his own, like you did today, attempt to capture him, but don't endanger your men. By all accounts, the rebels are irregulars on foot, but on the off chance there's a whole company of cavalry out there, I want you to get back here and report it to me. Are, uh, dead coverage acceptable? Can you tell me anything else, sir? That's all the information I have right now. All right, then. Your men are waiting for you outside. Take what supplies you need, but I want you out on that road within the hour. Ooh, supplies! I get to pick up everything I see. Like a good little adventure gamer. Also, shadows. And an angle change or a camera change or something. Look, look around you. 
unfortunately I have this uncanny sense of knowing where, what stuff I can pick up. As I see sparklies around them. Hmm. Oh, hey there. Hmm. So, uh... Where's all the rest of the men we've got? And I don't see much in the way of those supplies. The major was it mentioned that I could dig up. Ooh. <coughs> so my status stays through flashback switch makes sense. Hey there, you're all going to die horribly. Um, what happened to the voice? <coughs> well, I guess it'll return in the next dialogue, whatever. I always thought it was because you stink. Corporal Newhouse. I was with the 15th Wisconsin at Chickamauga a few weeks back. Then they pulled those of us who survived that battle back here. Born in Ohio. Moved to Wisconsin to try my hand at mining. I'm from Pennsylvania, sir. Philadelphia. Chickamauga. I like that word. <laughs> Call me Skunk, sir. Private Skunk. See if you can arrange for us to acquire some dried beef and fresh vegetables to take with us. I don't intend on eating beans and hard bread tonight. Yes, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh, goody. Mrs. Weaver took me in. I was hurt and I needed help. She asked me to find Robin in return. She seems to think I'm the only one that can find her. Curious woman, that Mrs. Weaver. She's convinced that the search party is doomed. She put the fear of God in me. Her son was like that, too, before he died, and they say her mother was even more attuned to the spirits, but I didn't know her. Died in childbirth, I believe. Stand up straight, man. Where do you think the little girl is? That girl is a bit rambunctious, and no doubt she's having a grand adventure out there. An adventure of death. Yeah, can I talk to you more? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Has she disappeared before? Never for this long, but she's run off into the woods before, that's for sure. She's even claimed to have talked with Miss Kedward. Kedward? The infamous Wood Witch of Blair. And people say she haunts those woods, talking to them in a mysterious voice and appearing as a ghostly apparition of an old woman. People around here believe she prowls the woods, stealing little girls. Hmm. Some say her mother's ghost still haunts the woods, looking for the little girl, while others say it's the witch looking for more victims. If I were you... I'd go back to the farm and wait for the search party to bring her back. 
I gave Mrs. Weaver my word. Besides, I just can't seem to get that girl out of my head. It's like I can feel her inside of me. Oh, that's She's illegal. She's got an infectious personality, I'll give her that. She has that effect on a lot of people around here. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't much believe all this supernatural sleight of hand, but there is something unique about Robin. Hmm. Voice trouble will go away. What else can you tell me about the woods? There's quite a few legends in this area. People say the ghosts of Indians and Hessians haunt the forest, looking to take lost souls. There are also the legends of the Snally Gaster, a hideous beast that's been seen from time to time, usually around the same night of a local party or wedding. And people tend to see ghosts and goblins more easily after a night of hard drinking and storytelling. No one seems to be able to agree on exactly what this beast looks like. Then there's the usual stories of ghostly soldiers from the Civil War, but those are just stories. Yeah. I don't think any of these stories are true, but they sure make for good tales. Undead Civil War soldiers. That's a completely ridiculous notion. And hey, you got through an entire dialogue scene without the voice crapping out. Where do you think is the best place to start looking for Robin? Well, I'd start by following the main road back out toward where the old railroad ran through here. That's the quickest path to the woods. Then I'd follow the creek. No doubt she's near the creek skipping stones or making mud pies. That's where I'd look. I think I've held you up long enough. If you are going to search for Robin, you should get a move on before nightfall. Yeah, you're right. No sense in wasting daylight. Any last words of advice or help you can give me? Ah, again. Hmm. Is it another one of those? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. going to try and decipher all this. It looks like this is from 1825. Mm -hmm. Hooray for camera angles. Dead littering, the street, and that. Oh. September eighteen eighty five. Sincerely, Eugene. Robertson. I need more resolution, damn it.
I think Animals of the forest ah, Control the animals of the forest Even the trees seem to do her bidding Hmm Well To be honest, your books aren't much good, my good sir also, this is <laughs> pretty much the most we see of the actual town in this game. Hmm. Which way am I supposed to go? Huh, oh, I guess that was the right way. you get for believing what you see in your dreams. Mm. Okay, a railroad which wasn't there in what, 1941 was it? Mm. Oh, is it? Is this building or dismantling the railroad? Hmm. Broken lantern. Hooray. Oh, hi. October 24th, 1863. And they're already back the horrors here. of battle have followed me even to this remote corner of the war. I have been assigned to command a small group of soldiers into the woods of central Maryland to track down a band of rebel foragers that have been raiding small farms in the area. The troops I've been assigned seem to be good men at first glance, and God willing, I will prove a suitable officer to lead them. I almost hope that we find the rebels gone when we arrive in the woods. I'm not sure if I have the stomach for killing men after what I saw at Gettysburg. Hey Mosley, how well do you know this area anyway? Well enough, why? Because I was hoping you could tell me where a smartly dressed Union enlisted man might meet some female company. Skunk, the only ladies a man like you is gonna meet in this area are certainly smart enough to steer clear of you. Maybe you're just jealous. What? What's up there, Lieutenant? I'd say it's a group of rebels tearing up the tracks. Spread out, boys. I think we can take them. <laughs> Looks like it's time to whoop us some rebels. Keep quiet, Private. Take ambush positions and wait for me to begin firing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have my suspicions that we are going to meet more than 8 to 10 rebels. Also, random ammunition. And... Teleporting rebels. At least in the first game, your ammunition supplies were logical. Now you just have what you begin with and you call the spook house for resupplies. Sure. 
So this is what eight dead rebels. No. Look at that. Five, five. We sure whooped them. No officer here. Just a small raiding party. The rest will be hiding out in the woods. Yes. I think. There's another one. Get him. How do you know that? <laughs> you okay, boy? If I didn't know better, I'd say you'd seen a ghost. <laughs> who... who are you? My name is Steuben. I was just walking by on my way into town to buy some supplies when I nearly stumbled over you. Are you all right? I think so. Yes. What is your name? Lazarus. Call me Lazarus. Mm, like the man who rose from the dead, huh? <laughs> Interesting name. So what are you doing out here by this old railroad crossing? I was on my way into the woods to search for the Weaver girl. Do you know about her? <laughs> I think everybody knows about her by now. Went missing in the woods. I ran into Parson Vance and his search party on their way into the woods to look for her. So you're getting out there too? Well, the sun's about to set. Hope you're planning on spending the night. What do you know about the woods? You know, for starters, I live out there. I built myself a house back past the old cemetery when I first moved to this area. I don't like people much. And the woods are... Well... The peaceful. And most people don't have use for an old blind man. And an immigrant at that. Blind? Just like a bat, I'm afraid. But if you're heading into those woods, I'm the man to ask if you want to know anything. Well, let's start with this. Are you evil? And... Are you telling me that they haven't... <laughs> that sounds like the Viva girl. Maybe you won't have to spend the night in those woods after all. Hmm. Robin, wait! <laughs> now they... Been 20, 30 years since the Civil War day. I haven't gotten kind of around to rebuilding the tracks or alternatively completely removing this debris. 